How does God come sometimes to us? Especially in Israel. How does he come? He comes as the lion of Judah. How come the Chinese have lions in China? There are no lions in China. They never were raised here. They're everywhere. They're in Korea. They're in Thailand. They're in Hong Kong. They're in China. What's the lion doing in Chinese New Year? The unknown God was called the Lion of Judah. He was called the, the God of the Harvest. Does that sound like our God? Does it? Well, we're going to find out more about that. Since I was here, I've been hearing stories from little children who are Chinese. My papa put me on his shoulders and got under the lion costume. My papa danced for our family to have blessing and good fortune. My papa doesn't do it anymore. Because he doesn't think it's connected to the one God. My papa made everything from beginning to end. The evil ones they rob us from all the good things. I'm going to take that into the Taoism, into the Hinduism, into the Buddhism. I'm going to do the lion. Not necessarily the lion, but I'm talking about I'm going to put him in with all the little gods. I'm going to burn incense to him. I'm going to take him to all the stores and the markets and say, you'll have prosperity if you give me some money and I dance with the lion. But we have the lion of Judah. And he's our provision, our provider, our health giver, the lover of our soul. And he takes everything that's evil away. And lifts up the lion on a statue in every Asian country to tell us the lion of Judah was here first. Amen. Amen.